Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to compress a kick drum. So this is actually relatively straightforward, but there are a few things to bear in mind that I'll be talking over throughout the video. Now to do this, I've loaded up the Studio VCA in Logic, and this is a really nice compressor to use on a kick because it's automatically set to a hard knee. Some compressors will have a knee setting here, but the Studio VCA doesn't. It's automatically set to a hard knee, and a hard knee works really nicely with drums because a hard knee works best for hard hitting sounds. Now for my sample that I'm using, I've set the threshold to minus 30, but this will completely depend on what you're using. It will depend on how strong the signal is. So what you set the threshold to be will be different to what I've done here. Next, I set the ratio to four to one. This is quite a nice middle ground for kicks, I find, as most of the time it will get certainly a good result and most of the way to where you want it to be. It'll make it sound nice and punchy. But if it's making it sound too punchy, maybe drop it down to a three to one. Or if you want it to sound more punchy, push up to a six to one. But I like a four for the sample that I'm using here. Now on the makeup, I've given it a three dB boost because my threshold is actually taking off about seven to eight. So I'm just compensating for that a little bit. I've also turned auto gain off because when it's on, it, it sets the signal automatically and I want to have more control over that. I've also turned the distortion up to soft. So it's just adding a little bit more saturation to make it sound nice and crisp. I've made the attack nice and fast at five milliseconds. So almost instantly. So the compressor is coming in very, very quickly. Again, suitable for drums or instruments with a quick attack themselves. I've also put the release quite long. I put it at 180, anywhere between about 150 and 200 is quite nice because it then holds on to some of the transients from the drums itself. So let's just have a listen to what it all sounds like. So this is what it sounds like without the compressor. And with. It's just adding some more punch to it. Now these are all relatively basic settings. As I said, for the sample that you will use, chances are you'll apply slightly different settings, but this is certainly a good template to use to then adjust and create the perfect compressor sound for what you're using. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.